and then compare the last match there. Okay, now I got the result uh, because I set up um, two checkpoints there. The first one is checking the um, the result there. I expect the value, the top total, and that's the exactly one. They are equal to each other, so it succeed. And I also um, set up to check them last the series bar message. Um, they are the same. Operation successfully. Yeah, exactly the same. Now I I would like to um, um, maybe for the next time. For example, um, maybe for the next for the next patch or for the uh, someone modify the setting um, by by accident or by uh, one or by accident or or one purpose. Let's say. Because I would like to check, I would like to check the uh, talk total here. Maybe someone, um, the the sales manager, uh, say I would like to, um, or maybe some some problem in the in in the in the in the, someone modify the the price here, and then you will see uh, the result will not be this one, and then we will get an and you will compare the the amount. If the amount is not equal to each other, there must be something wrong. You will highlight uh, for us. Hey, this field has something wrong here. Okay, now I would like to modify the um, the unique price from um, um, uh, four four hundred um, into um, one hundred, and then I update update it. Okay, and then and the test automation tool can help us to identify um, this problem, um, something wrong with the talk total here, because um, and then you can um, you can check, you can keep checking. Uh, that's because someone modified the unit uh, price for this item. Okay, now I would like to I would like to run um, the adding the sales order once again, and then to see uh, to check the lock once again. Now I just click run the script, and then I just run, and then you will help me to add the sales order order once again, and open the sales order, and then open the sales order form, and my mouse is not moving, is choosing the customer. Nam Thomason there, and then. Setting up the delivery day next five days, and then it choosing the item code for me. Now this time, just pay attention to the um, dog total there because I modify um, the unit price for this. As you can see, the dog total is ninety five now, and then continue. And then still adding. And then the sales order add successfully. And to compare the last data message there. Okay, now as you can see, um, that's the Testing result. Uh, we got a failure here. Why you say failure? Uh, because we setting up a checkpoint for the talk total here. We expect the uh, the talk total always as 381, and then now uh, we got the actual value, the actual amount as the 95. What's going on? What's wrong with that? And then maybe um, you can check the reason um, to uh, to 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 buy by by yourself um, with the automated testing. And that's the automated testing. Uh, uh, this you can help you to, uh, to set some setting to verify the data, um, to verify the business process there as you expect or not. Now, uh, more interesting, I would like to show you a more uh, fantastic um, feature here is the report here. Uh, now we can show in the report. Um, we can. We can we can show in the report. I would like to show in the report by reporting, comparing with the expected value. Remember the first one. I set it. I check the chat box as expected value, and then this is the actual value for me. And then if I 
coming here, the 90 something is difference here. It highlights the difference here. And then I can, uh, I can, I can find the difference uh, one by one. I can find the difference one by one to help you to identify uh, what is the difference uh, between this ex, ex, um, ex, um, expected value and the, and the actual value here. And then, a uh, more, uh, more, f more powerful uh, functionality. Now I can see the screenshot. I can see the video uh, recorded. Just click the screenshot and continue browsing. As you can see. Um, that's the expected value um, screen. That's the uh, actual uh, um, actual screen for me. And then I just um, I'm moving over here. Um, okay, focus. Now I would like to I would like to launch the the video now. I would like to launch the video now. And by just click the and then I would like to um, check the post uh, on the difference. Now I just would like to um, repeat it now. Now one by one. You see, this is a video. This is like a video, actually a screenshot, but it's also like a video. It has been recorded. It's log. That's because we check now to open the source order. Um, and choosing the BP Norm Thomason there. And then choosing the item, yeah, they look exactly the same here. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Now you see something. You see something. You see something. It highlights something. Highlight in in red. Why? Because it find the difference there. Because we choosing the. Uh, post on difference, so it stop here. Why stop? Because you finding the difference there. So it's very intelligent to f to highlight the difference field for the dog total here, and then you will find okay, it's something wrong uh, with the dog total here. Uh, by the uh, finding the the difference uh, by the test automation um, here, and uh, now uh, for the analyzing for the checking the uh, to analyze the region might be you need to analyze by yourself here. Um, okay, we can uh, keep continue um, for the playing. And then Tesla ch can check. And we add the sales order. And we success to add the sales order here. We success to add sales order. Oop. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me launch my B1 TC once again. Okay. So how do you think about the uh, the screenshot of the video um, uh, log there? Uh, even you can take the screenshot and then highlight the difference there, and then with this um, um, screenshot and the um, the log uh, result there, you can very easily to find the difference, and then you can uh, you can figure out the reason by yourself um, there. Okay, uh, I would like to open. Hopefully, it's saved there. Now I would like to open my scenario. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, good. Uh, my scenario is, um, is adding there. Okay, and that's the first two um, script there. And then finally, I would like to um, add the l final one to close bu close business one there. And the APB ID would be zero. And then I would just would like to um, uh, create a new script by click this one. And then I um, not recording, but just. Uh, Add the new line there. Add the new line, and then just the operation. Just choosing business one, and then the value here. I'm going to adding 